Oh. You know, and everything, so. but, uh, Dana, how do you uh, exercise to be able to pick up that much weight at one time? Of course, they don't have any honey on their stuff right now. Maybe that soup would make that. Now, what we're going to do is put the bees here in the front in the mites. You can look at the mites. The bees will go back in the hive after a while. These are a little darker than mine. Mine is a little lighter than Is this Russian? No. no. This is like the most gentle Dana, what, I've ever what seen. what kind of yeah, exercises do you do to be able to pick up that kind of weight? I don't know. Mine were a lot that gentle. Mine aren't too bad, but. Right in there, don't we? They're all kind of Oh, Yeah. I mean, I'm sure you have to make sure it's going to happen. I've been in line. I think it would look like the same. You just fill it out and get this over here. Move a little bit. I'll bring up the yeah, yeah. I've got some papers that they gave us two of the things to check for. Yeah. I'll bring some to the next meeting. Give you. Yeah. It's not a great well, line, it's kind of a grayish. Oh, yeah, yeah. you can see wow. lots of them there. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be the front of them about rough. I keep saying when it's just going to get to the front of them. Yeah, that's what I like. I'm trying to scoop it out. I'm trying to scoop it out. I'm trying to scoop it out. So we dusted this colony and we got four mites, right? Five mites. Right. Mm -hmm. Wow. I think Ooh. that was within 24 hours. Wow, look at all there. Let me see. Yeah, we only dust. So dusting them doesn't really tell you. Yeah, we didn't do a good job. A of really big. But usually, would it give you a better reflection? All of those. Yeah, don't even crush one. I hate that. I know. <laughs> if I crush one, I almost cry. I know. Yeah, when you hear it. Get them on the no, lid. when you see in between and they're yeah. moving and you know the only one of their legs is stuck, I have to always open it up. And when I do that, then, then two more. <laughs> yeah, more. Just, you know, have you seen it? Put it together. Yeah. You really can't stop it. I did learn this one thing where you slide them on instead of placing them on. Just take them from the back and slide them on and it lets them get out of the way. So I've been doing that. I don't know where I saw it in a book or something. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Who's the guy that's getting it? Spider bee. I don't know. I don't and the, those things the why uh, put it in between there and not at the top I guess the mites are all over in the hive all the bees all down there sometimes they're on the bees oh honey okay and sometimes they're actually going that honey pot look at that so that when you do this treatment they drop down through yeah. and to the pavement yeah okay yeah. and I'm moving they're on top of the I'm trying to figure out well, that's yeah. why. What kind of a hive do you have? I don't. Yeah, know. bees are walking up around. We're just looking and thinking looking about it. It's pretty cool. <laughs> now you know you'll probably have to wait till the spring. Yeah. yeah. Oh my! Look at all of them on the air. You kind of learn as you go. Even Man. when you're not being scared, Lord, I hope so. like it's so easy not being scared of all these guys oh, being right uh -huh. in there. You know, when you get alone, it's a little. It's not it's a little I'm not either. It doesn't happen very often, really. How many years? What do you use for my Open my mine up sometimes and there's like these field cockroaches in there. Not many, maybe one or two. Are those big brown spiders? Mm -hmm. I've opened and they've had ants tear. But those big brown spiders have a big belly on them, don't they? They <laughs> eat too much. 
Oh, these guys can, can take care of them if they wanted to, don't you think? Oh, yeah, it is. That's what's so cool. Not only is it fascinating, for me, it's just like some of the bees. They're so cool. The bees themselves are just too. Like, look how. Look at them all on the bottom there. They're kind of grooming and they're bringing up their houses and they're just hanging. They're just working. They're just about keeping their home. Yeah. And there's only one thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that is the same. Hey, Terry, what do you see? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like I opened, I had two eyes. I opened one the other day and pulled out these frames. Okay. And there was absolutely, there was honey, but there were no brood and no eggs in the farm. So I knew I didn't. Uh, you're all yeah. Okay. So very broad one on the way. And how do you do that? You just take one of these frames out? Yep. Yeah. You pull one of those frames out. Now it makes it and creates a space. And then you have a full about the size of a Macbox. I'll show it to you before. Then you hang it on the wire down in there. There's a piece of candy. So I got into the little red wiggle worm thing. And I've got a worm farm. And, you know, You're kidding. No. Earthworms? The little red wigglers. Okay, what's the difference? The difference is little red. I'm going to let you finish up. Well, I don't know what. Okay. Do you? And what do you do with them? We have found a dead queen over here. No, no, no. They're not Use them fish. in the farm. Formic acid. What are they? I was very fortunate. A number of years ago, uh, because Franklin Industries here in Columbus uh, got the contract from the USDA to put together a formulation of formic acid and gel. And I had 36 bee yards at the time and they gave me 10 gallons of this stuff. At that time we had to wear rubber gloves and a fumigator mask in order to install this stuff and we took a an ice cream scoop and just took an ice cream scoop out and put it at the top of the hive. And I felt I had died and gone to heaven because I had 10 gallons of this stuff free. Uh, they wanted me to evaluate basically how it worked. I lost over 50% of my queens. Uh, it drove the bees out of the hives just like you see here. Uh, but it was used, the formic acid that we put in there stayed in the hive. 